All right, guys, Christian Dream Autos here working on a 2003 Dodge Dakota pickup. Had a couple issues pouring, cooling out, it was overheating. Uh, found that the water pump was going bad and letting so much water out from this gasket here. There's also another issue. There's a little hose that goes from there to there. It was actually starting to come apart as well. Um, so while I'm in here, I'm going to end up doing that for the customer. Getting a new clamp for there and for where it attaches there. Now if you see all this orange in there, that means that at some point somebody's put down some copper seal trying to help with a situation just like this with overheating, possibly head gasket. He said he's been getting some white smoke on cold startups. Um, so we're gonna, we already advised him, hey, there could be other underlying issues, but he needs this car to last him through the winter. He's a working blue collar guy. He's got, his vehicle is his life, so he's gotta be able to do it. While we're in here, we realized when we went to go take off the belt that this tensioner is no longer doing what it's supposed to. That should have rebounded and went back. There's a spring that sits in here, which allows it to constantly maintain pressure on the belt as it moves and rides, allowing it to just move freely left to right, and it's seizing. It's just sticking wherever I put it. So we're going to have to replace that for him as well. We already flushed out the radiator and got a bunch of gunk out of it. It's got my little catch can down there that you can see. Uh, had to take off a few more things than anticipated. Try to get to it and make sure that that hose was good. Now I don't like the way these intake gaskets look either. It obviously needs it. This could have been what they were trying to actually seal up with the, the copper gasket sealant that goes down into the coolant. But this creates a huge issue which you can see there. It gets everywhere and everything can clog tons of orifices cause you even more pain and issue now I got some more flushing to do but you should have saw it before I got to it we're gonna try to make sure we do it right now he's also said he lost heat so we're gonna back flush the behind and underneath all this stuff there's a couple hoses that go to the coolant system and there's a heater course basically a small radiator that runs in your dash allows the coolant to circulate through uh, you saw Ray do it on another vehicle prior it was a Jeep um, basically Fluid rushes through there at the temperature of the engine. Fan blows on it just like your radiator it helps cool it down. That's what actually delivers you the heat to the inside of the cabin uh, to keep you warm, defroster, all that stuff. So we're going to back flush that, make sure that any of that copper stuff that might be clogged or any debris and contamination, we can get out as much of it to try to get it flowing again, try to get him heat back in there. So we still got a little bit of work to do on this. I got to call him back because of the extra findings or whatnot that weren't anticipated, obviously. Um, but once you're in there, like I said, we're not just going to wake you up from the operation and ask you if it's cool if we fix it. we got to let them know what we found. This car has got to go back together the right way because it's in my hands. It's in the shop. So it's got to get that new tension. It's got to get that new hose. It's got to get all new clamps. Clean off all of this. He already got a thermostat for me and a, and a gasket for the water pump. All the new parts are sitting on the floor. So once we get this back together, we'll see how it goes. We'll bleed the system and we'll give you another update. This will be another quality repair here at dream autos i just hope you know time isn't against us and some of the other underlying stuff that's been exhibited with this vehicle over time but i, I think we'll be all right and we'll be able to get him back on the road earning a paycheck get him back to work soon um it's just going to take a little longer to anticipate it because we had so much stuff to hear today so many tow i got three tow-ins i got four or five appointments made i got a couple other issues i had this one come in i got another one that's being towed in probably in an hour or two and then i got tons of appointments for our tomorrow and saturday as well so we are getting busier guys i love it thank you so much please remember to like share and uh let people know about us we're giving away cash uh as a referral program as well twenty dollars for a repair to you and the person you refer keep that in mind and on top of it keep your minds your hearts and your bodies and your souls open chris from dream Auto's out